I wanted to challenge myself this weekend to see if I could start and finish one of the quilt cuts from Connecting Threads. This one is called Rainbow Road and it is a um, Villa Rosa Designs. I recently just finished one of her patterns, really loved it. It was Cloud Nine. So simple, so easy. And this one seems, again, a very simple, fun pattern. I snagged the kit on Connecting Threads. I'll put the link below. Uh, it was 30% off when I checked, so if you are interested in snagging it, I would know. Um, but this is what it, the final piece is going to look like. I'm so excited. So it's going to be a 60 by 70 inch, and I really love all of these beautiful colors, and I'm really excited to get started. Um, all of these come all pre kind of cut um, in the sections. I have to double check what it comes with if this is, I'm thinking that this is the backing, I'm not sure. So let's check all the pieces and figure these out. You can potentially hear the girls are watching Baby Shark in the background um, are really calm. So it's the perfect time for me to get some work quilting. And so this one is actually my background fabric. I do need to snag some backing fabric. So keep that in mind when you purchase this kit to add on your backing fabric. And this beautiful one is for the background, which is really pretty. And then we also have tons of half yard fabrics. So all of these are actually really fun and they're all put in here together. So these are all half a yard and in all of the beautiful um, colors. Wow. We have this one and such pretty. Oh, I love that blue. I love the yellow. All right, so let's get everything out. Let's start cutting, measuring, uh, so we can get this quilt started. Amazing Claire Bear. So good. Um, are you, you hold like this? Mm hmm. Okay. Do you want to show people how to do it? So, first, 
to do like that. Then we go back to So the smart. Side. Then like that. Then on the other side. But you have to have one and two. You have to have both of them. One and two. We are much later during the day, if you can't tell. Um, I am making myself a snack before I go and sit and quilt some more. I finished all of the squares and now I'm sewing them together. I am making a salsa with just uh, plain corn chips. I have IBS, I've mentioned it a bunch of times, and I love body products. They are incredible and are low FODMAP. So have that. I have a little bit of cheese with some corn tortilla chips and we are going to get quilting for the night. day three of the quilt. I've been working all morning and I'm taking some time to try and start assembling. I cut, finished, um, and then like squared them off each of them. There is over 160 <laughs> some of these blocks, but they are done. Now it's time to put all the quilt top together. It's going to take a little bit of time. I think I underestimated how long this project was going to take, but I am so excited to see the finished product. Officially at the halfway point, so I'm attaching row 7 of 14, and it is really coming together. I love these little clips. I will link them below. They are my favorite. I would rather these clips over pins any day. I'm using them to attach them, and I'm going to be doing them at every single crease to make sure that this all stays together and is aligned really perfectly. And if I do say so myself, it is looking amazing. Friends, I can't wait. It is beautiful. Now I'm gonna have to figure out what background to use, but let's keep sewing and getting this quilt done. Officially day four of the quilt and I am in the final stretch. I am sewing up the four last strips. Um, I already did one of them, so the fifth. And I am currently sewing up these and then I'm gonna press them out and attach them. And you guys, we're going to be done. I did not think I would finish this quilt in four days. It is 
not something <laughs> I potentially will do anytime soon on finishing this massive quilt again in four days, but I loved every single minute of it. I love that it comes in a kit and everything. I So this one at the end is a binding, so I'll be cutting this and prepping it. And I will be sending my quilt to my quilter who professionally quilts it. So we will have the backing and everything. I'm just really excited to see it all together. So I'm putting the final touches and going to reveal the quilt to you very, very soon. In the background, I am watching Princess and the Frog in my office because I just need something cute and fun in the background and just one of those movies that you can watch over and over again. I'm curious to know what one movie is that for you. For me, it's Princess and the Frog, um, Beauty and the Beast, Little Mermaid, those type. I could watch them over and over again. she is all finished and beautiful. I cannot wait to send this off to my quilter to really see that end result. I'll make sure to post it if you follow me on Instagram and here make sure you go and check that out because I will be posting once I send this off. Thanks for following along the journey friends and I'll catch you guys next time. Happy knitting and sewing!